Hello, hello! Welcome back to Whiskey With E. I'm Eric. Now today we are getting back onto the Christmas whiskey tasting kit. So, one, two, three, four. So, sample number four. We have... Alrighty, let's grab it. Hey! We have... Cowra... Distilling Co. from Cara Distilling Co. It is Barrel House XB single malt. I have no idea what this is. All right, so that's what it says right there. All right, I'm gonna pour some up and we'll have a little read of what it says at the back. So here we go. It's not the same, is it? All right, guys. enough for a sample yeah we'll, we'll put some more in there all right all right let's let that sit for just one moment now let's have a little read on the side bit here all right so i'm going to read this little bit here for you all right <clears throat> cara distilling co barrel house xb single malt from Car Carawa, sorry, Carawa, New South Wales. I'm in New South Wales and I pronounce things wrong. There you go. Alright, an excellent Aussie single malt from Car... Cor Am I even saying it right? Corowa. Carawa? Corowa. Corowa. C-O-R-O-W-A. Corowa? Anyways, Corowa Distilling Co. Found in the country, New South Wales town of the same name yes Kaurua. there you go the this expression has been aged in former bourbon barrels i wonder what bourbon barrels it was aged in yes we'll never know resting in the distillery's barrel house which enjoys the region's unique climatic conditions the result is a dram that offers a pure taste of the Kaurua new make spirits 46 percent 1.1 standard drinks. Now, I hear that Korowa Distilling Co. was founded in 2010, was it? <coughs> Read it down here. Alright, established 2010. The founder, his name is Dean Druce, was brought up learning the family business of chocolate, wheat and licorice in the small town of Juni, New South Wales. There you go. That's all I got. <laughs> I wasn't going to give you a history lesson or get right into it. I just wanted to give you my opinion on this particular sample right here. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty. See, this is my original style, right? You just want to lightly roll it so it coats the glass. I mean... I don't want to agitate this one too much. Now, when you do this, then you can look to see if the legs, you know, the, the little drips, are they coming down slow? Are they coming down fast? Is there lots of legs or is it building? You know, this will give you a fair idea of how it's going to be. I mean... They weren't, they weren't dripping down really fast, so maybe it's a little oily, who knows, but there is still drips either way. I mean, tears, whatever you want to call them. All right, guys, let's just get right into it. It's coated. The color, the color is a lovely, hmm, there, there is a bit of a impurities in that, but there you go. Could be unchill filtered, could be natural colour, it doesn't say, so I'm just uh, gonna just put it out there like that. It could be, but it might not be. Either way, the colour looks light, but reasonably lovely. It's like a golden, it's a golden yellow hue. You'd call that almost like caramel, but not really. You know, it's more of a, like a honey. Uh, honey, sweetness, goodness. Color. There you go. All right. On the nose. What? Yeah. 
That's a nice nose. All right, so I am getting, this is me. This is just purely my opinion. This is what I'm, I'm getting. I am getting a slight vanilla. There is an oaky presence there as well, all right? The vanilla, the caramel, obviously must be coming from the ex-bourbon barrels. But that's intermingling with, um, it's almost like, I, I keep saying this with all these Australian whiskies. it's almost like pears or apples, like, not so much on the apples, maybe it's more like real apples, like, you know, it's not like a green apple that, you know, you maybe pick up in a space side. This is more like real apples. This is like a real stone fruit or something. It's like, um, yeah, you, you're getting the pears, you're getting the apples, but it's not green apples. It's more like real apples, if, if that makes sense. There is a creamy element in this too. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Either way, it smells beautiful. The nose smells lovely. You know what? I'm really curious of what they think of, of this on the nose, but you know what? I'm just going to have a taste first and um, see how it goes. Cheers, everyone. Oh my goodness. All right, light spice on the end, but man, this is just like sweet goodness. I mean, you're getting like the pears, the apples. I mean, what type of pears, what type of apples? Real apples? It's not green apples. You know what? I'm going to read their notes. <laughs> what do I say, guys? Unedited, unprofessional unscripted but you know here we are right i'm just here to give you my opinion now even though it's a very unprofessional opinion now hold on <laughs> it's funny how i said not green apples and, it, and then it just says crunchy malt oh yeah like the malt is in the background all right the malt is in the background intermingling with the caramel, the vanilla, caramel. But yeah, it is malty. It is fruity, all right? But yeah, it says right here, guys. I'm going to have a little read for you what they think of this. I mean, oh. All right, it's on the nose. It says crunchy malt, green apples, candied pear. Ah, there you go. I'm like, it's really sweet. I'm getting the pears. I'm getting the apples, but what type? I didn't think it was full green apples, like a space side. It felt like fresh apples or something. It's lovely though. Now, it says on the taste, vanilla custard. Huh. I said vanilla, like, but I said something creamy. I think that's the custard element. There you go. Creamy custard. Honey and fresh pressed apple juice. Bam! Alright, so... Fresh pressed apple juice. So it's fresh fresh apple juice, guys. With vanilla custard and honey. Alright. Finish is long with charred oak, chai tea and baked bread. I, I don't know about this baked bread situation, but let's have a little taste. I'm going to see if we get the vanilla custard and the honey. Obviously the fresh pressed apples is there. Yep. See, that's what I mean. You need time, guys. You need time to spend time with a bottle. Get to know the whiskey. You know, like me, me cracking open a, a, a 30 mil sample to try get to know it in this space of under 10 minutes. You know, it's, it's a hard one, guys. But if you do spend time with it, I'm sure you'll be able to try pick out all these things. But on on first reactions, yes. 
It is malty. You are getting the the caramel, the vanilla from the ex bourbon barrels, but yes, you are getting the green apples. I said it wasn't green apples, but you will know what I mean. If you're comparing it like a a space side Scotch, which is really really green appleish, to this, which is like it's hints of the green apple and pears, but they say on the taste, it's fresh pressed apple juice. And there you go. It, it, I said it was fruity, right? I said there was apples. I said there was pears. So not bad, guys. Not bad. Forty-six percent, one point one standard drinks. The finish long with charred oak chai tea. I don't know about long, long per se. I mean, all right. This is the difference about um, trying to distinguish what long finish is. All right. Now, when you are having a barrel proof bourbon you are you're, you're feeling that heat and you're, you're getting all those sensations so then we recognize that as a long finish now when you drink something that is under 50 percent and they're still describing it as a long finish you just gotta look at it like it's not the heat it's just the lingering flavors that you could maybe pick out still in the back of your throat so that being said the flavors do continue. I mean, it's not like something that is just watery with no finish. So either way, Korowa, Korowa Distilling Co. Good job. Cheers, guys. I don't mind this at all. You know what? I really don't mind this at all. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have tried. How? Korowa. Korowa Distilling Co. This is the Barrel House XB Single Malt. So there you go. Anyway, guys. Former Bourbon Barrels. There you go. Alright. There you go. You are getting the Bourbon Barrel influence, guys. You are getting that vanilla, the caramel. Alright, guys. I'm going to be repeating myself. I am out of here. Alright, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Normally I go like this, but um, maybe I'm just going to have to pour up another little one. Just so then I could, uh, there we go. You know what, you're almost getting like, it's almost intermingling, creating like raisins. Or like plums or something. Or like a slight apricot note. See, see, so, so it's all this kind of stone fruit vibes intermingling with the vanilla, the caramel from the ex bourbon barrel. It's not a bad nose, guys. Very good, very lovely. I enjoy this nose. So, um, and the taste is not bad. It's just that uh, I'm used to barrel proof. So, if there is Australian whiskies out there that are car strength, let me know. I would like to really um, try some. But cheers everyone, drink responsibly, and I'll catch you all next time. Cheers everyone. Mm. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I mean, the more, the more you have, the more muted it seems, the more your palate is acclimated to it. I mean, it is only under 50%, guys, but I'm not saying the flavors is bad. It's not bad, guys. Anyways, I'll catch you all next time. See you all.